almost 500 on the real time. Live! Sick, 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 sick baller. Hello. Yeah! Oh, Here we are. Song. Little switch hit. foot coming at you. Yeah, it's a good song. I know you're jealous. <coughs> I have it on uh, my playlist too. Hit of it, ZBX was Stoic. Episode 18, Game 4. He is Stoic Regrets. And he is Stoic Nouveau. Follow oh, us on Twitter at Nouveau Starcraft, at Stoic Regrets. YouTube channel slash SM Watkin. That is my first initial, my middle initial, and the first six letters of my last name. Wow. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got a, another ZBT because it's basically ZBT week with a little Protoss mix up all in. Blah, 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 blah. Yada, yada, yada. Sinfeo, who is a Grandmaster or Ladder yeah. Warrior or what? He's a Grandmaster. Grandmaster Terran on the North American server. Does a lot of the top 200 King of the Hills and uh, wins quite a few of them. So uh, making a name for himself. Good player. And this is on <laughs> Shaka Ra. Shaka Ra. This map is so bad for this matchup. Ugh. Take this map. This map. this map. Okay, so basically this game, uh, he opens Banshees just like everybody else in the previous mods that we did, but... People are opening mech... Banshees, guys. Learn your timings. Learn your timings. Get and this those will teach you down how, to, how to fend off mech a little bit from behind. Uh, he does go into mech, and I don't even have a third base when the Banshees come, so... The other, the other games I've had a third base, it's made it a lot easier. So you play shitty this game, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I play pretty crap. Okay, well let's get in game here. Okay. Fading in. Oh, let me fade out this music. Should have done that before, now they can see how I fade out the music. <laughs> Manually. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm ready when you are, David. Yeah. Three, two, one, play. The pizza is here. Is that the pizza? No, that's my phone. So, is it the pizza? No, it was my phone. Yeah, but they'd call you when they were here. Duh. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a standard 15 hatch. I am going to be doing a gas opening because I felt like it, and as you can see, it's going to fuck me over because I don't get my third down. Ugh. But that's okay. The key is to play good. God, I can hear you mass texting, Sean. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's Kristen. Bitch. <laughs> I hope she watches the bots. She's like... It's... Ugh. Ugh. It's, she's like my sister, not my actual sister, because I don't have a sister. I have a very feminine brother. <laughs> but she's like... She's getting married this summer, and for some reason values my opinion, even though if it was up to me, I'd have a StarCraft-themed wedding. <laughs> oh, do you hear this? But she's... It's just... It's insane. Uh, I'm, the, I'm, the M, I'm the MC at her wedding, and what I didn't realize when I agreed to do that was that apparently you have to do other stuff, too. Like, I just want to show up, do my thing, right. do my thing, talk. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Did we tell that story on stream yet? No. Oh, my God. We'll no. save it for another day the mlg lee story with uh at mlg yeah another oh. time oh my we god have told it when we were doing the mechanics pod we keep <laughs> referencing the story but we never tell next you know what we should do i was thinking about this we should do a unit control vod for all three races yeah how the pros what the pro hockey setups are um different ways to control your units how you should be doing it you gotta be at your house to do that though <clears throat> Um, yes, you do, actually, yeah. That's what we'll do next, guys. We'll do a unit control VOD. Now, him patrolling that SCV, does that make you worry about a two racks? Yeah, that's why I'm sending out three here. Okay. We can have a slumber party. That'll be a good setup. Now, I got a question. <laughs> do you want to have a slumber party in my basement? You got gas early here. Comments? Yeah. You're doing a different uh, build. Just a different build, yeah. Just doing a different build. So, you get your speed up faster. Do you, does this mean you cut roaches? It means that when he does this gay banshee build, I can't take a third, which is kind of gay, but oh well. <laughs> so his, so his build is going to hard counter me well. like none, like no other. It's actually hard countering to open banshee like this off of a no gas expand. If he opens, if the Zerg player opens gas and does defensive roaches, it's a hard counter, super hard counter. 
Okay. So... Sorry, you know what I'm doing right now. Um, Setting up the slumber party? Does his... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> does his banshee build kind of counter what you're doing? I just said... <laughs> shut up, not the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was trolling. I, just I was said trolling. That, like, okay. Man, that would have been horrible. <laughs> but, like, seriously, though, the Banshee build. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Shut up. Don't lose that Overlord. Oh, he really doesn't want you to see what you already saw. And that's that he took two gases. That's weird. Look at the mini map. Those gases are actually uneven. I thought they were even. They used to be even. Maybe your eyes are just crooked. No, do you know what happened? Someone did a big post on um, basically how gas mining is different in different spots and different maps, and I think Blizzard fixed the maps. Really? Yeah, the, the extractor distances were all messed up. This is in the early stages of the game. But I remember the old version of Shakuris, um, those extractors were even on the, in hexes on the minimap. Well, whatever Blizzard did that's good probably wasn't the work of David Kim, so... He I don't know, I like David Kim, I think he's a nice guy. Have you read the latest patch notes? Um, <laughs> I said he's a nice guy. Ah. Uh, I like that queen buff, and so do our viewers, so fuck. No, they took it out instantly. Did they? Which yeah, which true. one? Did they take out the... Buff. The queen buff. The both because there was two. There was they their ener their starting energy. Oh no no, no I'm sorry. gonna take it out. Okay guys, I'll it tell you how bad that energy. buff was. Okay, the fifty energy to starting queens. I went on the test map and I pretended to do a ZVP strategy. I maxed at ten minutes and twenty two seconds because I don't have to build a third queen until I'm at like a hundred to bot. Because that the first would make queen, that that would make the roach max so yeah. hard to hold off. Because I don't have to build a second queen uh, off of my first three hatches. That one queen alone can inject all three hatches, and then I start the other queens. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Basically, I have ten extra drones. That's like 300 minerals. Stupid. Yeah. Whoever thought of that was dumb. Now, what about... Um, man, you still went roaches. You're crazy, David. This is kind of just an early pressure build, I guess. Yeah, but then he hard counters it by going banshees, like I said. So, as you can see, I can't put down this third, even though I wanted to. Which is really annoying. Catch him? Catch him? You got, you got one. Not bad. Oh, you're, you're ahead. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, okay, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, now I'm stuck on two bases, and he went Banshees. So now you're behind, but you can hard count. And I layered tech at like 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So this is horrible. You never want to be in this position. And he's ruining your delicious creep spread. What a bastard. No, I saved one. I saved one. <clears throat> so God, what, like, what do you do now? How do you transition out of this? You're, you're kind of... Well, I have to just not die until I, I am 100% sure what he's doing. Because I still don't know if he's transitioning into bio or he's going into mech. Now, comment on both. First, um, how do you find out what he's doing? How do you scout? Do you wait for lair attack and get an overseer? I have to wait for lair attack. Yeah, I gotta wait for lair attack. I can't do anything at this point. And then... I can't move out because he's banshees. It's very annoying. So in the meantime, what do you do? Uh, just back her up. As you can see, you fully saturate two bases, basically at that point, and upgrade, and decide what tech I want to go into. Uh, I would have gone into mutas if this was on three base, but because two base, whenever you're behind, go in fasters. They're better when you're behind. You get, you get map control. Yeah, you never want to go mutas when you're behind. It doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, they're not going to get you back ahead, and they don't give you your army any value mm. of fighting. Yep, so now I am transitioning into investors. Uh... And also, any good player is going to have turrets up, and you can't do the economic damage that you would be required to do should you go mutas. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody's prepared for mutas nowadays. Precisely. <clears throat> Except for shuttle. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, Nesty recently said mutas are still better, are they not? Yeah, I think they're better too. I've always agreed but with that. They're just harder to use. Infestors are the lazy build, basically, but yeah. mutas are better. Well, not the lazy build. It's just when you're behind, him. definitely they're a lot better. Uh, Mutas, you mean? No, investors. When you're behind, when you're behind, always go investors. Always, always, always. Can't stress that enough. 
If you're stuck on two bases, do not go mutas. Go in faster. Just better. Yep. Alright, so I still don't know that he's going full-blown mech, but that's alright, because this will transition nicely into tier 3, and I already have roaches out, which is really good against mech anyways, so... Investors help with mech as well, you just want to get that neural parasite up, because I find it really helps with the Thors. Mm -hmm. But it's really hard to control your units. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm trying my best to get scouts out here, scouts off here, I see that it takes a third base, I still don't know that he's going mech. Uh, I will know soon enough. Okay, I don't see any bile, so that's oh, very interesting. That's a good tell. And I'm going to attack with Lynx here. I see nothing but Hellions. Still don't know that this is not mech. But the good part about this is, since he did go mech, he is out of position. And now I know 100% that he's going mech. I don't see any bile units, so... Him going mech in this position, uh, position allows me to get a few SCP kills, which is quite nice. I denied the third, I was able to get it to lift. And now I'm going to focus on saturating my third and getting rid of his at the same time, because... Our third bases are very close to each other, so it's a very dangerous <coughs> position for Zerg to be in just because if he does tank pushes, it's so close for him to siege up to my third base, but uh, I felt like I had to do that because it's kind of impossible for me to take the bottom base when it took me so long to be able to kill the Banshees. Uh, so, Especially because he denied creep spread too, that was excellent by him. No creep spread in that location means I wasn't able to walk my queens down there, so instead I took the closer route. Which is the more dangerous route, because it's closer to his third base. Yeah, that's huge. It's a good play by him. Oh, he's got that planetary up, which means it's going to be tough for you to engage here. Yeah, so I'm going to try to kill it before it goes up. I might actually get it. No, oh, that's it. Oh, smart guy. I okay, thought it was so done. It looked like it was done. I don't think... Well, even if he let it finish, that would have been horrible. He should not have let it finish. So that was a good decision. You can tell. You, now you know for sure. He's yeah, I know he's going back. And this is excellent. Uh, this is not a bad position by me anymore, because I've... Denied it twice. That's excellent. Uh, I've lost. So now, what's your general approach to mech? I know what I do, but I want to hear what you do. Roaches until I can transition to broodlords. I want to go into broodlords, but I won't go into broodlords if I don't feel I'm safe. So right now, there's no reason to go into broodlords. I've already done a ton of damage to these roaches, so I'm going to continue to build up my drone count, which is now at 68. I probably want about Look 75. Look at that point defense drone. That's so good. Yeah. But they're really bad against queens, because the queens won't die, so it's not so bad. But he just saved his banshee, which has been yep. annoying for you all game. It's a nice, nice little play. Nice little yep. play of the week. So here I just want to continue to expand. I should be taking more... Oh, am I taking more bases? Oh, good. Okay, so I want to continue to expand, get my hive tech, and because I'm basically maxed on roaches, I want to do as much damage as I can with these roaches, so... Here you're going to see I'm just going to get rid of the Banshee first so that my roaches have free reign. And then after this, I just got to see where I can engage and where I can't engage. So that was that was pretty good. That infested Terran actually got three tank shots off of it, so that saved me a lot. That allowed me to clean this up. And basically, I cannot win this game, especially because he has a planetary fortress from just roach busts. But cleaning up his tank out, so this is like, okay, this Even is almost an inch to win now. Huge. It means he's yeah, got to reproduce him, he can't get Thors out, which are his exactly. push across the map army. Yeah, so I can't kill him off of this, but he can't attack me for a long time, so I'm p feeling pretty safe right now. This allows me a perfect transition into my fourth base, uh, which is great because I basically want to expand constantly. So I should be shooting, I should be building a few more drones, maybe eight or nine right now. Um, nope. Um, what's your time? Count up. 50, 51, 52, 53, okay. 54. We're synced. <coughs> Good. Alright, so now I do my nice slow transition to Broodlords. I don't need to rush too much because he can't actually kill me for a while. So, here we go. I'm building a few more drones. I need a few more. And the good part about this position is this entire game is going to be him struggling to take a, this third, uh, secure this third. Because he's lost it twice already. So, um... Oh, oh no. He didn't get Blue Flame. I don't... I, I like Blue Flame. Eh, ever since they nerfed it, I don't see the point. Well, but. it makes your Hellion harass to kill drones just that much faster. Yeah, but once you upgrade uh, past one zero, it it doesn't mean like the uh, the amount that it does extra is not it, is not relevant at all. He lost them anyway, but yeah, the Hellions are good for getting your army out of position, I guess. Yep, definitely. That's 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 why it was key that I kept my infestors in the middle of the map, just so I had a I had awareness of where he was. So <laughs> so I see a little bit of an opening here. I might go for it. Can you kill that planetary? Oh, he didn't repair it. Oh, I don't think it would have mattered. 
I just fungal. You can't. Yeah, fungal. Wow, fungal fungal's bungle. good. Yeah, fungal's really good. <laughs> fungal's really good. My God. And do you even care if you lose all these? No, you need to. This is why you gotta get burrow, David. You got all these burnt roaches. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, I'm not gonna just purely max on roach here because even though, you know, I'm quite ahead at this point. The last thing you want to do is be like, I'm 100 supply ahead of the mech player, let's just keep running into them with roaches. Because yeah, you'll find... Die. Yeah, <laughs> you'll find that that actually doesn't work. Look at it, like, look at that army. Can you imagine if I ran into that right now? You can try to I catch them on siege, but even then you might just get screwed. Yeah, and you don't want it to spiral out of control, because once he retains a large number of tanks and gets four Thors out, oh god. It's hard. So as you can see... This is why it's good to transition constantly because even this attack after losing that uh, planetary fortress and losing so much food is so difficult to hold. I'm actually going to abandon that base, which I think is an excellent decision because I'm not desperate at this point, right? Whenever you're not desperate, you don't need to save it, uh, then don't save it. It's, it's just, it's illogical, right? Keep in I know mind that, that I don't need it. To him save. moving his army around is like damn near impossible when you're so mobile. He's like, yeah, he can't attack me into where my army is right now. But you I can't can only try to get in good positions. Yeah, and if like, he makes one mistake, you can. Count uh, I'll, I'll I'll tell I'll say that obviously I probably can clean up that army like in that position. Let's say I was down to my last base, and if I lost that base, I would have lost. Then I would have just pulled all my drones and just gone for it, and probably would have cleaned it up. But like I said, I'm in a position where, as you can see, I'm on Brutal Tech. There's no reason for me to to need that base. I'm basically still going to win this game without it, so it's better to just back off. So as you can see, how strong this army is in position. Do tanks auto fire? Um, oh, you got the neural. Nice. They attack whatever's closer. Do they auto fire um, Pestaterans? They attack whatever's closer. Oh, so it doesn't. Yeah, okay. So you can just take bases on the other side of the map. Did he even? He didn't even kill that hatchery. <laughs> he didn't kill it. it. Well, he stopped mining. It's actually, I guess, the same thing. But at this point, I have everything I need. You can see the bank is going up. I'm taking additional guests at the bottom of the base, so this is going to be excellent for me. You're, you're, you seem to be trading somewhat well. I don't think it's going better for you or him. I think it's neutral. Which is it doesn't really matter at this point. He has no workers, right? So, Because he's lost that planetary way too much. And I was able to fungal like 35 30 workers. Yeah. yeah. So at this point, it's just difficult. It looks difficult because tanks are really strong in the position. But uh, you can see that I have unlimited power to transition into whatever I want at this point. And he has, he has basically nothing he can do. Besides, continue to go with these units and just stay on three, well, not even three bases, more like two and a half, two, like one and a half bases now. You so. should get Burrow and Tunneling ton ton Claws. Yeah, Burrow I definitely should incorporate. I hate Burrow, but I definitely should stop hating Burrow. Uh, but yeah, at this point, I just have to kind of sit out and wait. And I think I play this game really smart at this point. He ends up basically leaving before we even engage, but it's because he realizes that I'm playing super safe. Because like I said, I just realize if I don't have to do anything risky, I just won't. So. And he's just now taking his third, which is yeah. just, why didn't he take that while he was Yeah, so that's what I mean. It would be it would be stupid of me to continue to build roaches, because then I'm putting myself into an all-in position when he has no workers and can't transition into more bases. Why would I all-in him? It doesn't make any sense. So now I have basically the optimal number of gases to do whatever the heck I want, and I can just sit here and it's impossible for him to win this game right now, and I'm pretty sure he will realize that eventually. Macro like a crack row. <laughs> Seven Vikings, nine tanks. His, his tank army is pretty yeah. good, but he doesn't have any support units. He just can't kill me with it. That's the problem with having mech and not being maxed. Yeah, the tanks are immobile. Yeah. Okay. So now, as you can see, I'm at 87 workers. I'm going to be at 89 workers. That's the key. Get a, I'm going to be over, over a high, 90. A high That's worker what? count? Yeah, with lots of gas. Yeah, we've been, we've talked about this in the previous files. Lots of workers when you're going tier three. Lots of brood lords is <coughs> not bad either. <laughs> yep. And whenever you need to clean up supply, you can just build spine crawlers. Huh? How long do you think it's been since I ordered that pizza? <laughs> I'm wondering if the guy's been knocking on the door and my headset's just too good. <laughs> nice little, nice little making use of his Vikings there. I like that. Yeah, that is quite nice. I think he's gonna get that hatch too. Ugh. You don't even need it. How many drones did he just kill? Yeah, oh my now... God! You killed forty-seven SCVs. <laughs> he killed eleven. 
So this this yeah, is just you just to deal with a little bit of annoying harass, but at this point the game is pretty much locked, so. The, yeah, losing those Vikings was bad because you just built so many blue boards. Yep. He had to do something though. I, I'm pretty sure he knows he's in a really difficult uh, spot. Yes, yeah, quite. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna wait this one out. I, uh, there's no reason for me to attack, and I want to win this game, so I when will not you, attack him. I attack. Like 16 blue lights. And how do you get enough supply? Because you. Well, I have uh, 89 drones, so I can just build 20 spine growlers. Ah. Indeed. But I'm I'm basically in no rush. Like basically, this is the point of the game where like he's good enough to realize I can't lose, and I know that. So I'm just waiting for him either to leave or unless he wants to let me get 16 blue lights. Because I, I even know he doesn't even have more expansions, so there's, like, th it's just one of those positions where it's like, you're going mech, I'm not going to attack you, but you've lost the game, so you're just going to wait it out, you know what I mean? But he can't lose that door. Like, he's basically fighting at this point. This is really nothing. He's going to leave right here. Yeah, I think he's going to leave pretty soon. Yeah, I think in about, about 52 seconds he's going to leave. Oh, Sean, you're so accurate. <laughs> How did you know, Sean? <laughs> oh, look at all those Vikings, too. Yeah. You could just remax on... I mean, it's good to get an Ultralisk Cavern now, because once you lose all your Brew Lures and he's got all those Vikings, when you remax yep. on Ultralisk, yep. his army supply is all taken up with those Vikings. Yep, definitely. But I don't even bother doing it this game, because I probably would have just remaxed on Roach. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, yes, even against Mech, remaxing on Ultralisk is excellent. But that's why I'm continuing to upgrade. Oh my Notice God. You notice how I'm getting uh, plus three armor there because that's basically what you want, right? And that's the ball game. Simple. And that's it. Yep, that's fun. Well, that that has been Intimate ZVX with Stoic episode eight. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Keep Follow coming. us on Twitter. Okay, peace.